Okay, let's give this a go. I'm going to try a couple games against Computer Impossible. So, and it's uh, the time controls are 5-2, five, five so there won't be any crazy time scrambles. Hopefully not, at least. So, let's just go with what? I've played this line many times against it, and I've had some success. So let's see if I could do that while uh, doing some commentary. So okay, the the only the only concern I had was a quick c4 with queen here, but I should be in time to uh, meet this move now. So e6. If queen b3, I could play queen b6. And if c5, well, I could always come back to c7. Maybe capture. But let, let, let's just do this first. I want to be in a spot to capture like this if c takes d. And I think it's best to get this knight here first for uh, time reasons. With this queen b3 move, queen b6, if then c5, I could take capture, play a6, and then meet the move b4 by moving the rook off of the a file. But we're not going down that line. Or m maybe we still could. Maybe maybe queen here will still be played. Okay, so that captures. So so far so good. And hmm, just where to go with the bishop? Either d6 or e7. Um, I think both might be good. Uh, let me let me let me go to d6 to keep control over this e5 square. This is a move I have to be concerned about. Sure enough, it's being played. I need to take. Knight takes. I take here. And am I going to be in some trouble, actually? Let me see. Let me take here first, and then I, I was wondering if I'm going to be in trouble after castles is their bishop takes h7. I don't think that's working, and I actually I think I've played this very line before against it. Not while recording, but I think I've, I've had this position before where there was an isolated pawn. So my candidate moves are castles, knight f6. I don't want to play bishop here because because of, of capture and then I'm in check. It'll be uncomfortable. Hmm. Castle. Let me just make sure there's no bishop takes. Castle. Bishop takes. Takes with the king. If then knight g5, I could take. And uh, if bishop takes, I, I take their queen. So I think I could castle, and I probably should do that. Let me castle. Did I miscalculate? If you see this move, I miscalculated. <laughs> okay, so this should be perfectly fine now. Because in an ideal world with this isolated pawn, you'd really like to remove the bishop that could control that square. So in this case, the light square bishop. So if this move isn't played right now, I'm going to be able to blockade it. So I could blockade it. And the only concern I have is, how do I do just that? Knight b6 to d5 or knight f6 to d5? I want to make sure I can definitely get a piece there. If I go here, I could get into a pin. It's not so inconvenient because I could always move, and if captures, th this is a fine pawn structure to have doubled F pawns in the, the G6 pawn. But I think just to keep it super simple, I'll pivot on B6 and then hop into here. Yeah, why not? I have control over this position, and there's no neither side has a lead in development. I think just queen here. I do have some concern of knight e5, but I have that covered with the bishop. So just bump up the queen up to e8. Okay, where is this knight going? Huh, let me see. Oh, you know what I could do? I could get rid of this knight. Ooh, maybe I could play a position with a, a, a strong knight on this d5 square that cannot be challenged. That cannot be challenged. So bishop to b4 pins the knight. There might have there might be some timely in between moves with rook here maybe bishop here a3 takes could this move be played hmm maybe or am I just seeing things <laughs> let's see bishop b4 a3 I just take the knight no if rook here I could take the bishop I'd get a rook and two minor pieces. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for this just to get rid of that pesky knight, so I can rely upon this d5 square, where my knight goes unchallenged. 
So now he just, it's best to just get him here. And I, I just want to trade, <laughs> trade some more. So let's get rid of this rook. Hmm. Maybe not so fast. Rook here, I think it's just going to double. And I want to be able to kick it off. The, I, I'm not really too big of a fan of capturing here and having this structural change where this it's no longer going to be an isolated pawn. It'll be a group of four pawns together. Um, it's a good thing I have increment here, down to less than a minute. But uh, I think maybe f6 first. And then when the rook moves, I play king f7. And then I could go forward with a bunch of a bunch of trades on the e file. So I think this is one of the last important moments of the game that I'm going to have to start rattling off moves. Let's let's go for this f6 first, and then uh, king here. If rook here, I could play queen f5. Okay. Oh, that's a sneaky move. Okay. Well, I better get rolling here. 34 seconds. I could always do this. Oh, that's a pain. That's a definite pain. I am officially in a pin. I, mean, I should just double. Keep keep everything really solid. Just get my rook here and my other rook here. Okay. I have I still have control. I might want to do this. See, it's got nothing. It really it really has nothing. Let me just do this. I don't want to weaken my C6 pawn. Hmm. Hmm, can't do this. I'd be dropping my rook at the end of it. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should finally put a question to this rook. I give up this square. Uh, I'm really weakening my dark squares. I, I just want to kind of sit. I, I don't, I don't see a way to improve my position. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm in trouble now. I'm in big trouble. Time wise and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna get mated right here. Oh man, f8. I'm dead on time and position. Oh man, it snuck right in. Why didn't I even consider just taking that bishop? Oh, that was a bad way to end. I had I felt like I had so much control, but that rook, it, it wasn't so quick to uh, to give up a piece, right? Without allowing a structural change. All right, let, let's let's give it one more shot. Ah, oh, I should I felt like I should have done so much better. <laughs> I got what I wanted that night on d5, but uh, it was it was being a pest. Let's try one more. Yeah, it was it was gonna be ah oh, look at this. I've had it play this against me before too. And I had a good position and I don't know how I don't think it turned out so well. Okay, so what did I do the last time it did something crazy like this? Okay, it weakens H five and F five, H five in particular, and I think a knight move to E two, G three, and H five could turn out to be quite good. And I'd really like to have the position close up. Maybe if this pawn goes two squares, this could be a, a really nice square to hop into. However, as a start, I think you really can't go wrong with deploying the queen knight. So let's let's get rolling with that first. And uh, what more? Do I want to play? I think I want to play my pawn up here. Yeah, let, let's do that. I, I'm threatening this, so something needs to be done, all right. And uh, I don't know that I want to do this move. Mm, E3 or E4. What's wrong with just grabbing some center space? This has clearly uh, wasted some time. Let, let me grab some space. Uh, D4 is going to have some fire placed under it. Hmm. Bishop E3, Knight E2, G3, H5. Does the order really matter? Bishop e3, bishop g2, knight e2, g3, h5. That's really what I want to do. Hmm. Let me... Let me develop my bishop. I'm not yet going to declare my knight's intentions. Okay, this is a very passive move. Very passive. So now I think I could go for my little journey. Knight e2, g3, h5. Okay, I knew that was going to be played. <laughs> so I want to stop knight here, and I could do that. Just knight g3. No, no, no. It could still play there. The bishop's watching over. So h3 or f3. I definitely want to stop the knight from playing here. And which one should I move? Maybe I go with h3. 
h3 and then knight here okay h3 which one's better h3 or f3 i really don't know um oh no 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 i do know i'm gonna go with h3 because, because i want to keep this diagonal open i want my queen to have direct sight of this square so i have just that finally get my knight out of the way and now get my bishop to e2 okay i'm i'm very happy with this, this position <laughs> so far so far bishop e2 i have control over this position and it's weak in this square okay i think i know what i want to do now i want to grab some space i want to focus on this square can you hear it in my voice i'm getting a little a little excited here i think i might have the possibility of winning this one because <laughs> i have a space advantage um and these are very weak f5 and h5 in an ideal world i want these guys off the board i want to have g4 in and throw my knight on f5 how could i manage that if i play knight here takes and then f5 i don't want this pawn advance uh to be played so hmm bishop here I could do that. Knight takes, pawn takes, and then I get my knight here. I think I'm going to do that. Let's just roll with it. Queen here. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, man. I totally missed that. It should still be all right, though, right? Can I, still, can I still work with this? They have to give the piece back. Okay. Stay focused here. <laughs> oh, you know what it could do? F5 and then F4, and it has its pick. Oh my goodness. That was a that was a killer. Ah oh, man. Should have seen that. Okay, let's work with it here. Um you know, Bishop, yeah, I got I have to take the knight, so I'm gonna take. Jeez, I don't even know how to take. Which way do you take? All right, I guess I'll go like this. Whew, okay. All right, and uh, let's just go back. So, yeah. Take the bishop. You're going to play here? All right, so the material is still the same. Still balanced. Play this and then knight e4 or just get knight e4 in right, at, right now? I should probably do this right away. The knight's going to play here. He's going to be a tough guy. He is definitely going to be very, very tough. Oh, man. Maybe I should move this knight so I could give this knight a kick with a g3. That's going to be tough, though. However you slice it, it's going to be very tough. Hmm. 35 seconds is not a lot. Okay, let's just see how this thing's going to punish me. <laughs> I feel I feel the punishment punishment is gonna happen very soon. Very soon. I should keep him out, right? This is weak now. I want to be able to play F3. Let's stop their B5 stuff. Castle F3. I don't like taking my rook off the H file, but I'm gonna have to work with it, I guess. Ah, it's got nothing. Nothing there i have light square control let's just keep everything nice and cozy is there going to be a trick here there is oh my goodness can i hold this though maybe it's miscalculated maybe it doesn't understand this position as well as i do <laughs> uh that's not the case though is it that's not the case can i keep control over this i have light square control <laughs> that was that was a bad joke by the way a very bad joke i didn't mean that yeah this is done this is done. I play rook here, knight here. I gotta defend like this. There's maybe b5 happening soon. No, really? All right, seven seconds. Can I hold this? Throw my knight in here. Tricky stuff here. Ah, it's running. It's scared. <laughs> it has a lot of fear. Ah, okay. I have a, I have a decent blockade, I think. Keep this blockade. Uh, seven seconds. I have some control over this. I actually have some control over this position. I guess to anticipate this move, maybe. Get my knight back here. Get my king up. He needs to defend stuff. Control this. Oh, boy. 
I I could I could deal with that bishop given discovered check. I'll keep my rook here to defend that. I think I just keep my rook sitting here. It, it can't enter, can it? Ah, oh, let's just play here. Can I can I hold this? <laughs> Light square control. Light square control. Yeah, it's just trying to time burn. But this is um this is what? I got that increment. I should be able to hold this. The only break is C6, and that's going to happen. I need to I need to buy some time here. I don't want to allow this advance. So that's why I'm keeping my rook here. So I think I just need to go back and forth. It might make it might play like 49 moves and then finally do this. That's probably what's going to happen. Um, then I'm going to be in trouble. Then I'm definitely going to be in trouble. So I better bank some time. And then put pressure on this as soon as that break comes. Draw offer? <laughs> it's never going to... It declines it. It declines. I knew that was going to happen. 24 seconds. See, th th these were... It wasn't so good. Uh, those moves it was doing. So this bishop is kind of... A dead piece, isn't it? Got to get my king back. He needs to watch over these two. 28 seconds. Getting some time. I don't know how many moves it's been so far. I need to stay focused. G4 needs to be covered. My rook needs to stay here. Back and forth we go. Eventually it's going to make progress. Here we go. The king's maybe taking a hike over towards the queen side. Keep my king... It's very easy to lose focus. I can see myself moving here and then forgetting g4. Don't let that happen. Note to self. Watch over g4 and e4 unless you're in check. That's the rule of thumb I'm going to follow. This is going to be a draw. Come on. You're going to play here or not? I'm in check. i got to get out of that. So I've banked some time. Get back here. I was attacked. Back and forth we go. Move 76. I don't know what move it's going to need to be in order for it to be that repetition, but I doubt it's going to happen. I, I imagine c6 is going to happen. I could actually still not fear the bishop move. The discovered check is no biggie. And, uh, well, here we go. Here we go. c6 happening. Is c6 happening? Even if something... Oh, now this is definitely a draw. Or is it? Huh. Change of structure. So c6 was my biggest concern. Now the next biggest concern is this and then... Oh, man. This and then this move. Let's do this, though. Is it, Maybe it's going to be content with the draw at this point. Could, could, would it really sacrifice this stuff? Stay here. I still I need to watch over that. Have to keep this. I don't want my king to be dislodged. Back and forth we go. Wow, we're going to set a record, maybe. Now, there's been much longer games, especially with increment, but... You just stay here. I need to keep control. Light square control is the name of the game here. This is lovely. A lot of thinking is going into rook h1, h2. <laughs> Okay, when's that break going to be? I'm in check. Get out of it. Keep that knight on e4. He's a monster, isn't he? Controlling. He's, he's a tall pawn. Tall pawn syndrome right here. e7. Back and forth. When's that next draw? I don't even... I just want to keep going back and forth here. Back and forth. If this move... Oops. What did I just do? I didn't do anything. Okay. I want to stay on these two. Notice I'm never playing to h3. I want to have the opportunity to swing over to this side of the board if need be, if we're going to have this move. And we may have that. It might try to... I've seen it do that. I've seen it mistakenly try to go for more. And then uh, maybe I could come back and actually win when this is clearly a draw position. <laughs> but can I keep it a draw? That's the big question. 31 seconds and move 105. Let's go. Rook H1, H2. How is it going to make progress? Does anybody know? I don't know. I don't know. That's all I'm seeing is b5 eventually. Is this bishop going to weasel around? I'm in check. Let's get out of it. If I could get back here, I'm getting back here. Very basic. Very basic, I think. Keep 
going. Uh, move 114. Okay. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> All right. Should I offer a draw soon? Is there going to be a pawn break? We're going to see. This game is going to end very soon, I think. 119, get back here. All right. Rook h1, h2. Get back. Rook h1, h2. Keep my king there. I was just ready to go back here to e2. I'm going to end up screaming if that happens. <laughs> if I do that by mistake. You know what? There might be h5. Then I know for sure it's a draw. Then I know for sure. There's no tricks here. It has it covered. Move 128. Repetition happening soon. It's got to be 130, 130 moves. 51 seconds have been banked. And now this is where there might be some pawn push. I don't believe it. Oh, it might happen. Oh, no, it's going to happen. Oh, there it is. Should I have stopped that? Too late now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Can I, is there still some sort of a fortress? Is it pushing its luck? If I take here, I can't lose my center pawn. Ugh. If I go here, it's going to take one and... Oh, man. Take towards the center. Let's have a good reason not to. I just, I don't, maybe I have a good reason not to, but I, I can't think of, I can't think. <laughs> Rook here. Rook here and allow that queen to have some entry squares. Uh, let's try here. It's a pass pawn now. Oh, boy. 8.2 seconds. Oh, it's just, it got out of the check and now there's that move. Ah, uh, gotta get that pawn. I win this? Oh, boy. Here. Oh, there's gonna be that pawn push. There it is. Tricky pawn push. Oh, this is crumbling now. It's definitely crumbling. Is it still holdable? No, not really. <laughs> Queen check here. Oh, this is brutal. Knight here. Here comes the checks. Here comes the pain. Here it is. Oh, I am dead. Can't deal with it. Ah, oh. <laughs> man, that was a marathon. 142 moves. That B5 move. It must have just came. I should have offered a draw. Maybe it wasn't the 50 moves just yet. But ah, oh. look at the the progress it made. That's the one fear I had. The b5 advance. And I should I have come over as soon as the queen was facilitating a4? Should I have come over here? I was fearful of this break, though, as soon as that would have happened. Ah, I don't know. What do you think? Was it actually holdable or not? Uh, feel free to leave some feedback. What a monster. Okay. Uh, that's all for this video. Feel free to, again, yeah, leave some comments if you'd like. Take care. Bye.